Hallelujah. I want to thank God for all of you, the disciples of Jesus Christ. Uh, this is a very, very special disciples convention. Uh, but the Almighty God has made it in such a way that instead of some of us gathering at the camp, all disciples past and present all over the world can now participate with you in this year's conference. Before I pray for you, I want to encourage you that disciples are made for a time like this. At a time when there is crisis in a nation, the Almighty God is going to honor the prayer of his disciples. Because he said in his word that when he found that a nation was misbehaving, offending him, he sought for a man, just one man, to stand in the gap for the nation. It was when he couldn't find that's when he poured his anger on the nation. Now I want to encourage you disciples to stand in the gap, not just for your nation, but for the world. If he was looking for one man to stand in the gap for one nation, then all of you, and there are thousands upon thousands of you now, if you combine your efforts today and cry unto the Almighty God and say, let there be light, the light will shine again in the world and there will be victory at last. In First Timothy chapter 2 from 1 to 4, First Timothy chapter 2 from verse 1 to 4, the Almighty God commands us to pray for everybody and you have to pray for everybody because somebody you don't know could do something that can deeply affect your life for example if we have been praying for China the way we should be praying the crisis that started in China is now and is now affecting the whole world probably would have been averted. Then he asks you to pray for those who are in authority. Heads of states all over the world. Why must you keep praying for every head of state? Because if they make a mistake, it is we under them that will suffer. When David ordered a census and God got angry, 70,000 people died in Israel, not one of them in the palace. Pray for your presidents. Pray for your governors. Pray for all those who are in authority so that you can live a peaceable life. And when we are talking about those in authority, we are not just talking about those who are in political authority. Pray for your bosses in your place of work. If they fear God, God will prosper their business. And if the business prospers, it will affect you one way or the other. If the business collapses, you lose your job. And then, of course, pray for those who are in spiritual authority over you. I was amazed when I learned that when I asked that people should pray for me, some people were panicking. They thought maybe uh, something is wrong with me. I was merely quoting the Bible. Paul says, pray for us. 
There's nothing wrong with me. I'm healthy. I'm strong. By the grace of God, I'm stronger now than I was 20 years ago. But I still need prayers. Moses needed those who would lift up his hands in the battle against the Amalekites. I am not an angel. I'm a human being. I need prayers. Pray for me. Pray for all your pastors. Pray for all those who are in authority over you. Disciples. Beginning from now, like never before, on a daily basis, pray for those who are in spiritual authority over you. Pray for the church of God, that the church may keep on expanding. Pray that God will defend his church. There are those who are, for one reason or the other, angry with what God is doing in his church. Looking for every way to spoil the name of the church. Pray that the Almighty God will defend his church himself. Remind him that he said he will build his church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Now if God says he was looking for a man to stand in the gap for a nation. May I encourage you to stand in the gap at least for your family. A single man can determine the fate of his family, either for good or for evil. You don't believe me? Ask Gehazi. It was Gehazi alone who lied against the man of God. When the man of God was pronouncing a curse on him, he said, the curse of Naaman will cleave on you and on you. Anyone born in the side, sooner or later is going to develop leprosy. Standing the gap for your family. Standing the gap for your village, your town your state. Stand in the gap for your nation. Stand in the gap for the whole world. I'm going to pray for you now. After I've prayed for you, make sure that you spend quality time standing in the gap those who are precious to you. Don't forget the Bible says you are to rejoice with those who rejoice and to, you are to weep with those who weep. So pray for those whose sorrow can cause you sorrow. Let us pray. My Father and my God, I want to thank you for these precious people the disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, for training them, preparing them for a time like this. My Father and my God, even when the Lord Jesus Christ needed prayer support, he called on disciples. Today, Lord, your disciples will be coming before you. Standing in the gap for themselves, standing in the gap for their families, standing in the gap for their villages and towns, standing in the gap for their nations, standing in the gap for the church of God. Father, as they cry unto you, answer them by fire. Amen. And please, Lord God Almighty, strengthen them. Amen. Pour fresh oil on them. Amen. And let them be true disciples forever. Thank you, my Father and my God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Disciples, shout a great hallelujah.